One year ago, Brianna Preston Inzi received a call that no one ever wants to answer. Just weeks after giving birth to their second child, Brianna learned her husband, Rob Preston Inzi, had been killed in a twin engine plane crash in Rock Hill. During the past year, Brianna has turned her pain into purpose, creating a nonprofit to help people cope with the unimaginable. Brianna is joining me here this morning to share her story. Brianna, thanks for coming in. It's nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having me. I'm glad you braved the traffic out there this morning. It wasn't it easy. It was a little rough. <laughs> so take me back to a year ago. I know it's not, not easy. It probably gets easier every, every day and every mm -hmm. year to be able to talk mm -hmm. about that phone call that, like I said, no mm -hmm. one ever wants to get. How did your life change that day with that phone call? Um, that phone call changed my past, present, and my future. Um, all of that went down in the crash with him. And with a three-week-old baby and a 10-year-old, I had to decide right then and there how I'm going to handle this, how I'm going to move forward. Um, it's been a long path. It's been a lot of pain. But there has been joy, um, especially with widows with wings. You know, we're looking at some of these pictures, and I know it, it's got to bring a lot of joy to you when you see these pictures and think about the memories. But I know it's not easy to be able to look at them. And what, what, are, what are some of the, the special memories that you think of when you think of Rob? Um, him being a father. Yeah. Um, I absolutely loved watching him be a dad, us being a family unit. Um, he was an ultra runner. He did 100 mile races. He wow. was a pilot. Um, he was so smart and just his smile lit up a room. And that's what I miss the most yeah. is just seeing his big flashy smile. Yeah, I can see that as we go through a lot of these pictures and hugging on yeah. your kids and your son there. What, what were some of the obstacles that changed for you that day? Starting in the immediacy, but then over time, what were some of those obstacles you had to overcome? Basically, I became a single parent overnight. Mm -hmm. um, with a three-week-old baby, I think everybody knows it's so hard. You're 24-7 on. That was a huge obstacle. Um, making sure that my son was taken care of was an obstacle, along with life insurance, um, probate court, dealing with the house, the finances, trying to find passwords that he took care of everything. Oh, Those wow. were huge obstacles that we had to overcome, but I also had my own grief and my child's grief. So trying to figure out all the logistics of the day-to-day -day life and keep the house running was just an added stress that really no widow needs. Yeah, I, I think about even with my own life, if I were to lose my wife, you know, God, God forbid, it, it would take me a moment mentally because you're in that space of needing to grieve, right. of going, I don't even know where to look. I think I know where the bank account records are. I think exactly. I know where this is. So that, that had to be overwhelming for you, especially in, yes. the, in the months to follow. Completely overwhelming. Um, and thankfully, I have a good community that came in to help me sort these things out. You're in shock. Um, in my case, it was a lot of trauma. So your head's not thinking clearly, mm -hmm. and especially with the newborn fog and all of that going on. Um, thankfully, that taught me, that whole process of confusion and trying to get all that together, taught me there has to be a little bit of an easier way. So tell me about this transition and wanting to help other people with your nonprofit. So going through trying, you know, the finances and all the passwords, I thought, I'm thinking of the widow who doesn't have life insurance, who is a stay-at-home mom. I'm thinking of the widow who just now lost their only stream of income, who lost their um, life insurance. I'm wanting to come in and help those widows. So what are you hearing from some of these widows and widowers that are being able to get some help and support and, and grief counseling with you guys and financial yep. help? What, what are you hearing from them? So the biggest thing I'm hearing is um, people are thanking me for creating a community, mm -hmm. a community of widows and widowers where we can express our thoughts, express our feelings. Um, there's a no judgment zone. Um, just to have that support and then know further along, too, that we will supply you know, financial needs, um, emotional needs. We'll even come in and help you physically any way we can. Wow, no one wants to go through any of this by themselves. No. Having that support is so important. And you're taking that a step further. The year anniversary of Rob's death is coming up next week. Uh, you mentioned he was a runner. Yes. So there's a celebration. There's a 5K that's yes. uh, to honor his life. So we are doing a 5K in Baxter Village on November 5th, the actual day that he passed. Um, it is going to be an awesome event. People are coming out, and it's not just widows and widowers. It's people who support or people who've had loss in general yeah. who want to come out and honor their loved ones. So it's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a little bit emotional, but we'll get through it. <laughs> mm, I can't even imagine. Well, you're going to be together, which is what's important. We're going to be can, together. With other people by your side holding your hand, you can get through anything. If people want to find out more 
about mm -hmm. Widows with Wings, how, how can they contact you or to find out more information? They can absolutely contact me. Um, we have a Facebook page and we've got an Instagram page, Widows with Wings. And right now, widows from everywhere are reaching out to me, even from Texas. Um, I had one in Kentucky. So we're building a big community. Oh, wow. Brianna, thank you for sharing just a little bit of your story. And, and like we said at the beginning, turning your pain into passion. It's helping so many other people. We wish you and your family and your kids the very best. And uh, yeah, if you want to sign up and be a part of this, we'll have that more information on our website at qcnews.com.